Today I want to talk about the top five hotels in Napa Valley to stay at based on budget, beauty, and experience. Two to three to four times every single year. It's one of our favorite places. We will eventually have a residence and a winery out there. So I'm not talking to you out of opinion. I'm not talking to you after watching other people's stuff. I'm not talking to you about it from the aspect of I'm broke, I'm rich. I'm talking to you about it from the total package. There are a couple of hotels that I want to start off by putting them on the honorable mentions list. There's three of them that I didn't put on the list and I'll tell you why. So the first one is Auberge, Auberge de Soleil. Now, Auberge de Soleil is beautiful, but it is extremely overpriced. And if you know anything about one of the investors, her last name rhymes with Schmalosi, so I refuse to give her any money or credit, so that's why she didn't make the list. However, if you want a private, super high-end experience out in the middle of nowhere in the valley, this is the place to go. They have amazing food, amazing lunches, amazing drinks, but it is ultra, ultra expensive to stay there. Second place that could have made the list but didn't, Hotel Yauntville. Yauntville is one of the best cities to stay in in all of Napa Valley, hands down, bar none. Uh, it's a little bit more on the affordable side than some of the other places to stay. However, there's already a Yauntville hotel that made the list that I think is just a little bit better overall experience than Hotel Yonville. And then the third one that I wanna make sure that I mentioned that did not make the list is the Four Seasons. It's a brand new hotel, but again, right now, they are priced out of their mind in comparison to some of the other places that we'll have on the list. So those are my three honorable mentions. Let's start with number one, Alila. Okay, Alila wins hands down the best overall experience in Napa Valley because it's not priced insane for the view that you get. There's not many other hotels in Napa Valley, especially anywhere near this price, right? The Four Seasons is the other main one, but the Four Seasons is literally double the price of this place. Double the price of this place, and this place ain't cheap, right? So it's bananas, but you open your door, there's these huge glass ceilings. We've stayed in suites, we've stayed on the vineyard views, we've stayed on the second floor, the bottom floor, all over the place, doesn't really matter. The views are absolutely beautiful. Make sure when you book, you book a vineyard room. That is number one, you have to do that or you're going to regret it, I promise you. However, they have an incredible breakfast place, they have an incredibly famous margarita uh, made with a weird foam, like a lime foam on top. So there's a lot of things that you can do at this hotel. It's in St. Helena, so it is a little bit further north than what you would probably like to be in the center of the valley. Incredible, incredible place to go. I always recommend staying there. Their fitness center is 24 seven. Their room service is incredible. The only knock I can give it is their ice cream sucks. So if you get home late at night and you want to room service some ice cream, that's not your hotel. Their ice cream sucks. Other than that, great place. So. That's number one. Number two, Archer. And the reason I put Archer number two is it's a cheaper hotel, but they have some great rooms available. It is directly downtown Napa. They have a rooftop bar on top. So what we like to use this place for is if we're bringing friends or family out, this is a great place to stay because everybody can afford it. There's things to do. You can walk downtown Napa. You can walk all over town. You can do all these things. Great, incredible place to stay very affordable. There's rooms that start pretty low. And then there's also, you know, suites that have balconies and fire pits and everything else. So you can really kind of go whatever level of luxury you want as far as that. And again, with the convenience of being downtown, it's easy to get Ubers. It's easy to get cabs. It's easy to get transportation to it from the airport. Everybody knows where it is. So you don't have any problems, even if you have private transportation picking you up. So that's why I put them in number two. Number three is our Yauntville Hotel, and that is Bartisano. We've stayed at Bartisano before. There's some pros and some cons at Bartisano, which is why they're number three and they're not higher. The main plus is they have Lexus SUVs that will take you anywhere in town for free. So when you get back from your tastings all day, because it's Yauntville, some of the best restaurants in the world are all in Yauntville, right? So all the French Laundry, Bouchon, like all of them, RH, a bunch of amazing restaurants and there's so many more. Yonville has so many amazing places to eat that realistically, if you're staying in Yonville, you don't need to leave at night for dinner, especially if you've been wine tasting all day. You can just tell them, hey, we got a dinner reservation here at this time. You go down to the front desk, one of the valets will hop in the car, take you down, you call them when you're done, they'll pick you back up, bring you home for free. You don't have to worry about messing around, waiting for anything. It's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful experience. On top of that, they have a great bars on the inside, great breakfast. Their rooms come with, there's even steam shower rooms. Now we've stayed in steam shower rooms. We actually even got upgraded to a villa once, which was unbelievable. Way overkill for what we needed, but absolutely beautiful. The only knock on this place 
is their uh, fitness center, right? And obviously, as you can tell, we like to wake up. Now they do have a treadmill, but it was like in a tent. And I don't know if it was because of COVID or what, but like, it was literally like one rack of dumbbells and like four treadmills. And that was the entire gym inside of a tent outside. Uh, that was really the only con is they really skimped on the fitness or the ability to work out. Every other gym at least does a serviceable job. Every other hotel you've ever been at, this is the worst one I've ever been to. And due to the price of the place, you would think they could afford it. And I know they can, they just don't. Now, the other really cool thing though about where they had the tent uh, upstairs by the pool was in the mornings where the hot air balloons go off is right across the road. So as you're doing cardio, you see these amazing seven to 10 hot air balloons go up into the sky. They're flying right over your head. Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. If you're a spa person, every room has a area where they can set up the massage tables right inside of your room. So they will literally do the massages, do whatever spa treatments you want inside of the comfort of your own room. They have the robes, the slippers, everything's there pre for you. So absolutely beautiful. Other downside would be the views. The views kind of suck. There's not really a room with great views. And again, we've stayed in their best villa and we've stayed in the steam shower room, but you're just really looking at fences because um, it is on the valley floor. So that was really the only two cons, if you could say they're cons. But again, if you want somewhere to go, super high class, super luxury, super nice, Barrasano, great in Yonville. And it's right across the street from uh, Model Bakery, which if you've never been there for coffee and a breakfast sandwich in the morning, you're missing out. Fourth, Carneros, Carneros Resort. We have stayed there a few times. One of the nicest places you can stay a bit pricey and we haven't stayed there in a couple of years due to that price mainly because it, it, think about it like this it's almost like an upscale trailer park and i know that, that sounds really crazy to say but you have your own individual house type thing right uh, but there's a beautiful fire pit the property is massive um, you can walk to where you can, there's a couple different restaurants. There's Booms Farm Cafe. There's the hotel uh, breakfast area, all overlooking Carneros and the vineyards in the valley. The sunsets and sunrises are absolutely unbelievable because you're not out in the mountain ranges. The only downside of this place, again, uh, the farm is there, restaurant, one of the most uh, prestigious restaurants. I mean, the food is incredible. They have homemade donuts that you can get room service, just mini donuts with chocolate sauce. I mean, unbelievable food, unbelievable food. However, the only downside with Carneros is it's way south. So if you're going out wine tasting for the day, it's a, it's a drive, right? Like you're starting your day off with a 30, 45 minute drive almost automatically, which again, if you have private transportation might not be that bad. If not, it can be a huge pain in the butt, especially, you know, on the way home after a whole day of, of, of doing your thing. The other downside is if the uh, morning mist and the morning fog layer, marine layer is super heavy, you don't really get to enjoy any of the sunrises or anything like that because by the time it burns off, you know, it's 11 o'clock and you're already gone for the day. So depending on the time of year you go can also make a difference. Obviously, if it's super green time of year, not in the summer, uh, you're probably gonna have a better time because it's just absolutely beautiful. If everything's brown and dead, not quite as beautiful, but still incredible, incredible place to stay. Again, the cons are the prices have just done nothing but go up and the experience is just the same. So that would be why it's number four. Number five on my list is Meadowood. And the reason it's number five is because we haven't, we booked it, but we haven't stayed there. We've been there, but we haven't stayed there as a hotel yet. So we've been there multiple times. It's owned by the Harlan family. This will probably end up being super high on my list. The only thing that I'm not 100% sure on is it is again, a little bit north. It's in the St. Helena, but it's off the beaten path. You can't really walk to anything. You have to take an Uber everywhere. They do have restaurants on site. They do have bars on site. And it is an absolutely beautiful location. The rooms are supposed to be super secluded, super nature driven. So if you're a nature preserve type person, this is supposed to be the best spot to stay. I can probably give you a little bit better, but for right now, I'm gonna leave them at number five just because we haven't experienced the entire thing yet. So those are my top five places to go in Napa Valley to stay. I just like the sound.